Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. CNN asks women if they believe Kavanaugh's accuser. This was not what they were expecting. Careful what you ask CNN and who you ask it of. You might just get the truth. CNN has been all over the Kavanaugh mess, salivating and praying that this will do him in as a Supreme Court nominee. But sadly for them, this whole sexual assault allegation from Professor Ford doesn't seem to hold any water whatsoever. CNN decided to ask five women if they believed Judge Brett Kavanaugh over the woman accusing him of sexually assaulting her 36 years ago. CNN's Randy Kay got the surprise of her life when the women told her what they really thought. She certainly didn't expect this from women in the hashtag MeToo age. Oops. From Update America. A show of hands, how many of you believe Judge Kavanaugh when he says this didn't happen? The CNN host asked. All five women immediately raised their hands. I believe him, one woman said. I believe him, too, another agreed. How can we believe the word of a woman of something that happened 36 years ago? This guy has an impeccable reputation, Lord Castillo de la Pena told CNN. There is nobody who has spoken ill will about him. Everyone that speaks about him, this guy is an altar boy, because one woman made an allegation, I'm sorry, I don't buy it. Yet another woman on the panel indicated she would still support Kavanaugh even if the allegation was true. But in the grand scheme of things, my goodness. There was no intercourse, Arena Villarino said. There was maybe a touch. Really? 36 years later, she's still stuck on that? Had it happened? Several of the women on the CNN panel also questioned the timing of Ford's allegation, asking why she didn't come forward sooner, like when Kavanaugh entered the Bush White House or became a federal judge. I have no sympathy, Pena said of Ford. All righty then. Any more questions? I have some and they concern Ford's memory. She can't recall the year it happened, where it happened, when it happened, who hosted the party, who was there, who brought her or who took her home. And I find the timing far too suspect here. More from the Daily Caller. Arena Villarino continued, she's also destroying his life, his wife's life, his children's lives, his career. I mean, why didn't she come out sooner if she's telling the truth? Angie Vasquez stated, I would hate to think that 30, 40 years later, Somebody's going to destroy your life because somewhere at some party you, it's not right, but maybe you touched somebody the way you're not supposed to. Castillo de la Pena said, no, I have no sympathy. And perhaps at that moment, she liked him and maybe he didn't pay attention to her afterwards and he went out with another girl and she got bitter or whatever the situation is. Their kids, when asked if she felt sympathetic towards Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. Kavanaugh wants to testify on this and clear his name next week before the Senate Judiciary Committee. Ford is making demands of the committee that are outrageous and I have severe doubts of there being a hearing at all. In the end, Kavanaugh has a right to face his accuser and of counsel present. Both of which Ford is objecting to. From CNN Congressional sources said Thursday that Ford wanted assurances about her safety before agreeing to testify on a guarantee that she will never be in the same room as Kavanaugh. She wants to be questioned by senators, not an outside lawyer, possibly to avoid the impression that she is on trial. Ford's attorneys also suggested that Kavanaugh testify first, that they would like Mark Judge, a key witness to the alleged assault, to be subpoenaed, and that they would prefer no time limits on what is likely to be a deeply emotional opening statement. Several of those conditions are likely to be non-starters for the committee's Republican majority, including the notion of compelling testimony from Judge who has said he has no memory of the alleged incident and does not want to appear. Multiple sources said that most of Ford's stipulations were not red lines but an opening point for negotiations. She has apparently moved off her initial request that the FBI conduct an investigation before a hearing. Winning assurances on her key concerns could help Ford answer the question she posed when she identified herself as the source of previously anonymous accusations against Kavanaugh in The Washington Post on Sunday. Why suffer through the annihilation if it's not going to matter?" said Ford, who has faced death threats and has not returned to her family home since identifying herself. At first, Ford ignored the committee's invitation to testify. Then she wanted the FBI to investigate. Now, she's setting conditions before she will speak to lawmakers which is simply unheard of. She wants Kavanaugh to testify first, but he has a right to respond to the allegations made by his accuser. Welcome to the obstructionist circus that we now see on the Hill. President Trump is right to question this woman's credibility and to call for a vote on Kavanaugh's nomination immediately. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click 
like, and subscribe. Thank you.